Good evening for a Sunday approach. We are out here today doing our usual daily. Is the Volta system working correctly with keeping our Airstream Interstate, which is a 2024 all wheel drive model? Has it managed to retain on shore power for a full 24 hours? Now we keep it plugged in, but the Volta system is turned off, so that's what the flashing green light looks like. And when we come in here and pull up the display, it should say 30 amp manual up here instead of no source auto. Now that's not a good thing because it means that we have only 12 volt power working. So the converter is working, but not the uh, inverter or the bypass. We've tried a number of different things to make it work and haven't really figured out exactly what works, but we're going to try one little test here, which seems to have had some level of success. I'm going to start the engine. And you'll see when we start the engine, we get the little symbol up there that indicates that we've got alternator power. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn on the Volta system. And it still says no source auto, but that's okay. Because we're still plugged in outside here. So we're going to come around and unplug ourselves out here. Moving the short power connection. It's on a dedicated 30 amp circuit, by the way, which is also backed by a set of Tesla power walls. We haven't lost power at all. So, again, green light is still on, and our inverter shows on, but you can still see we're on no source auto. And if I turn the inverter off on the Volta, Turn it back on again, still no source auto. And turn it off again there. We're gonna come over to here and I'm gonna hold this button down. It goes orange, flashes orange, flashes orange fast, then goes to green. which reboots the Volta system and 26 amp inverter manual. That's good, right? So now we're gonna go turn off the engine. And I'm gonna try to turn the inverter back on again. see that I've got something coming from the inverter there. 26 amp invert manual, excellent. And once more, we go back outside again. Get my exercise in doing this, aren't I? And we're gonna plug in. And go back inside. Now what we're hoping to see, 30 amp shore manual, change the charge rate selector to 30 amp. So it all looks good there. And oh, one other thing we want to check, of course, is do we have cooktop on, microwave on, they are. So now I can come down here, press the button once, that puts the Volta system off and working only on shore power. Still says 30 amp shore. And you can see there, inverter status, inverter bypass. That is what we want to see when the system is working as it's supposed to. So if this was at all helpful to you, really appreciate a thumbs up, comments, and subscribers if 
you'd like to watch any of our other videos here on Sunny Approach. Thank you very much and have a sunny day.